Hey, Key Bros, what do you say? What do you know? This is Key Pipiata coming at you. Special shout out to my bros on Keyboard Talk. How y'all doing? And, uh, you know, I'm going to do a review on my most favorite keyboard I ever had. Uh, ever have, I should say. It's, it's my uh, Triton Studio. It's a 76. And it's loaded. I think I have every expansion board you can put into it. And, uh, but boy, is this thing a blast. And, uh, so, um, it's my writing tool. Any, uh, any original or any song that I've recorded, I've used this as my sequence base. Um, and, um, if, for those of you who have the Cronus, uh, they, I think, uh, basically, a Cronus is a glorified Triton. And, uh, but personally, I think the Triton sounds better. And, uh, I had a Cronus X. I bought it uh, and I, I kept it for two years, but I found out that it sat underneath a towel at a beach towel I used to keep it covered with because every time it came up to use a certain song, I'd go, Hey, yeah, this is a cool song, but wait a minute, my Triton does this and it, and it's for some reason it's poor. So I, uh, I don't know how many of you guys will agree with me. But uh, I, I think the Triton sounds a lot better than a Cronus. But don't get me wrong, the Cronus is a monster. And uh, I only sold my Cronus to buy other boards to do sounds that the Triton doesn't do. And, uh, but in hindsight, I should have kept it and, and maybe moved it into my live keyboard rig. And uh, that's what I should have done, but I didn't do it. But that's the way it is when you have one brain cell. And, uh, okay, we'll get started. We're going to mess around with the combis a little bit. Let me get the, uh... Let me get the right same. Nope, that's not the one. This is the one here. Yeah, we got the sustain pedal down here. All right, here's piano. This is one one of my favorite. on it if you you hit it harder the piano comes in pretty cool and there's what uh, there's a, a couple cool things I'm going to show you guys um, here let's go this is pretty cool um, let's see guitar This does strumming. It's pretty cool. take the arpeggio button off of it.
in here. I gotta look it up. I think, well, here, see, maybe I can do it. Um, I think. Let's see how good my memory is. D32. Okay, and what? There's a cloud. Okay, my boy, what they did is they got it hooked up with your damper pedal. And this is really cool. And all I'm doing is just pressing down on the damper pedal. It's really awesome. It's probably one of the, the craziest synth, synth sounds uh, I've heard. So I got this little book here. I write, write some cool books. This thing's got ton, tons of them in there. Um, I won't be real mad if I didn't write this one in there. Um, D110. Uh, let's see, D. prepared. Ah, okay, here we go. C85. And they're saying this is a program. Okay, so program C85. wonder if this is it. No, wait. Did I do that? I bet you, I, I put down program. I bet it's a uh, um, C85. That's not it, and I'm getting mad. Okay, let me look again. Here. Give me a second. This is it. I oh, yeah, this is really it. Um, here we go. It's worth the wait. <laughs> So it uses the ribbon. And see, I 
I think the button, the uh, switch one and two, these things did. <laughs> So it's pretty cool, and uh, and so this this board's really cool. There's so much to do. I don't really know how I could really do a demo on it because there's so many um, so many things it does. And, uh, you know, the sequencing is just, it's so easy. I'll give you an example. Okay, say what I want to do sequence. All right, hit sequence button. Go up here, load a template. Okay, I'm going to load a template in. All right, we're going to do tempo. I'm going to say 95 for tempo. And I'm going to do, uh, let's go down here. And, um, okay, in sequence mode. And... Up, oh, wait a minute. There we go. Uh, 95 tempo. Whoops. Hey guys, when you get old, you'll have a hard time seeing this shit too. All right. And then I'm gonna go to preference. I'm gonna say overdub, okay. And then what I normally do, I'll go. Okay. Then, and I'll, I'll give myself a drum click going in. And uh, let's go go pick a bass, uh, bass, 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 bass program. Here we go and do Stein. All right, then we'll just write a little bit of bass first. So then what, what I do is I hit the compare button and uh, shit. I've been working so much on the Chrome, I forget what my compare button is. Here we go, right there. All right, so now we'll do it again. Back to drums. Oh, you know what? I messed up. I usually use these two first now. Fifteen of a song. Three guitar. You use an acoustic or. Say okay. Okay. Now the mixer will drop that down a little bit. Okay. Four. Pick a piano. Get 
guitar up. And what's cool, now we're going to take the guitar and run it onto a... Uh, um, random pan, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Now you guys can see how, how fast you can sequence on this thing. It's unbelievable. And uh, well, we're going to go into some more of the... Uh
face a monster. And like, um, okay, you got shitload of songs. I'll make A, shitload of songs, banks B, all the way to G. Then all my expansion boards are filled. So I got all the sounds in each bank from A to G on the expansion. So I, I don't know. I'm not very good at math, but I would probably say maybe 3,000 sounds on this thing. And uh, they're, they're great. They're fantastic. Um, so this is a real hard keyboard to do a review on it because I think it would take like a year to go over everything. Um, you know, it's got like, like, say if you want some organ stuff. Um, there is one in here that's very cool. Um, they took like the organ and they added the clavinet. And I used it in the recording. It, it came out real evil. See if I can find this. This might be it. No, that's not it. But it's got a good groove if you play the groove on it. It's like I was doing a bunch of stuff with the uh, um, the trait, and I was writing a lot. And the band got busy, and I started buying new keyboards, and I gotta go inside the keyboards and find out how to program those assholes. And uh, so I kind of got out of writing for a long time, for a while. So, and I this is my paintbrush. I was using this for all my paintbrush. But uh, let's see if I can find that B3, man. It's, it, it's evil. Um, is this it? Okay, this is the organ with the horns. Figures. I'm like an idiot. I didn't write it down. You know what I mean? So you call me, you could call me Mr. Bungle. And, uh, but, you know, how do you review something like this? You know what I mean? I was in the combis. I didn't even go to the programs. The programs are great. Um, <laughs> my sequence here a minute let's bring this up now we were talking about templates in uh in one of the templates let me see we'll go to eight and let me pull something in here on eight um let's go uh, simply OK, 
okay, this is really cool. And uh, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit menu button. I'm gonna go to insert effect. And on eight, check this out. It's really cool as if you uh So, I mean, if you like this, never had a Triton, you get a Cronus, all right? But if you have a Triton, you get a Cronus, I mean, I hate to say that you're still going to like the Triton better. But if you don't have the Triton, you'll fall in love with the Cronus because the Cronus is a bad dude. It is bad. And especially like uh, the MS-20 and what was the MS-10, the little, the little guy. All those synth sounds you make, you could make those synth sounds, but in a Cronus you could have poly, so you could, you'd have like a, a memory mood, you know what I mean? But with, you know, have a polyphonic synth sound. So, um, and before the Triton was the Trinity. And the, the Trinity is what started it all. And I played a Trinity about maybe about five months ago, and I tell you what, it's still relevant. So. I'm gonna end this because I could keep going on and on and on and then blah 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 and I have a tendency to do that anyway. But I wanted at least of all everything I reviewed and everything, I haven't done this. And this is a guy too, I'm, I'm gonna do a video on it. This is the original Phantom. This is the FA76. And this is a bad, bad boy. And so I will do a video on that guy too. I feel like I need to play it again because I haven't used this, my recording gear, for a long time. So, um, but yeah, the Triton, the FA, the FA, the FA76, and then I have a VP550 up here. I have a B3 over here, and I have a bunch of other keyboards. These are all part of my keyboard rigs uh, for studio. So, hey guys, God bless. Take care. Be safe.